We're gonna say hello to the pigs. When you hear the phrase SWAT team, this, a single mom with her son on her hip, is probably not the image that comes to your mind. Can we come over here? But in a way, Brittany Littleton is the leader of a SWAT team that rescues animals. Yeah, yeah it is kind of like that. <laughs> she started Little Love Rescue straight out of high school, taking in abused and neglected animals. Much to my parents' <laughs> distress, finding animals and bringing them home. <laughs> Anyone who gets this much joy out of feeding a few pigs would probably do a lot of things for all kinds of creatures. Animals are my favorite part of life, I would say. Things like driving into a fire evacuation zone when everyone else is coming out to rescue livestock. This is a photo her group took the night those pigs were rescued. And the fire came to the top of the hill and it was like you could feel the heat from hundreds of feet away. They've herded sheep, goats, horses, even turtles. But where would they put them? I don't ask questions, you know, uh, I, I just help. Enter Caesar Milan. Turns out the man made famous for his ability to whisper to dogs probably could have had a conversation with the entire contingent of Noah's Ark. I was born and raised in a farm, so I'm a farm boy. Yeah. You know, I, I, I had a pack of dogs and pigs and chickens. So to me, this is normal. When we first arrived at his ranch, Milan was tending to a rescued llama saved from the wildfires. Turns out she needed much more than a place to stay. Look, so now the little baby maggots are coming out. She was malnourished and had an infection. In a way, the wildfires may have been a blessing in disguise. In her case, she was actually saved her life. And an extreme case like this one only underscores why Littleton fell in love with rescues in the first place. I think that everyone has that sense of like wanting to protect the innocent and animals are the innocent and they can't get themselves out and we have them, you know, people have purchased them or bred them or whatever, rescued them and now have put them in a situation where they rely on us so we can't turn our backs on them. We have to get them out to safety. Reporting for The Now in Santa Clarita, California, I'm Chris Welch.